And welcome everybody to the meteorology segment. Yowzers, we got extreme storms here around the Florida Panhandle and around southern Georgia. Oh my God, severe weather, including things like tornado watches. We'll get to it. That's from windy.com, by the way, if you're wondering. Windy.com, they got a great mobile app. And let's zoom out for a quick moment to look at the jet streams. There are the jet streams of the Western world. Looks a little bit like Charlie Brown's shirt with this meridional jet stream flow. Huge divergence there over the Atlantic Ocean, as well as a convergence and, a, and then a re-divergence. It's a wavy jet stream, to say the least. Also a huge anticyclone here, a high pressure zone likely marking clear skies over Central Africa, a huge clockwise rotation happening there, almost like Jupiter's red spot, only not because it's not Jupiter. Here are the surface winds of the Western world. Pretty powerful low pressure system out here in the Atlantic and an anticyclone here uh, right on Bermuda. So clear skies over Bermuda there as well. Anticyclones, clockwise rotations in the Northern Hemisphere are typically associated with high pressure and clear skies. Here are the surface winds of the east. A bit of a funky high pressure system down here. Oh wait, that's a low pressure system. My mistake. It's a clockwise rotation. So this is an oddly shaped low pressure system here, folks. That low right there, you can see the clockwise rotation in the southern hemisphere. That's a low pressure and right here is an anticyclone. So there's a high pressure system there. Clear sky south of Australia and cloudy skies east of Australia. Here are the jet streams of the east. And part of the reason why we make these videos is to help folks understand how to forecast their own weather. We got the jet stream blowing backwards over parts of Oceania and the central Indian Ocean. It's only a small signal, folks. It's not super strong. Trans-equatorial winds happening over here in the central Pacific. And let's continue on. We don't want the video to be too long. Here's weather.gov's map. If your county is lit, click your county. I would note these areas there. Those orange areas are indeed severe thunderstorm warnings. And those yellow areas are all tornado watches, folks. Remember, the most dangerous part of a storm is the northeast corner in the northern hemisphere. So keep an eye on your radar and so on. If you've got tornado watches, take it seriously and uh, don't become a victim. So here is the 72-hour GFS forecast here, and you can see these things are, they're a little bit discombobulated, actually. It's not, it's not a particularly coherent system. You can see it's kind of broken into bands, according to the GFS forecast. And we'll zoom out to the nationwide. This is the same thing here. It's showing pressure and precipitation based on the GFS model for the next 72 hours. Some heavy snows here also over the Great Lakes region, as well as some, uh, looks like some ice there in Canada, and some minor moisture there around the Rockies. Let's blast through more and pick up the pace. Next year, NASA goes lightning mapper, and we saw massive lightning here around the Gulf Coast. Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida Panhandle, and parts of Louisiana seeing extreme lightning over the past 10 hours or so. Do we have terrestrial strikes? We might. And if you're 50 kilometers to 100 kilometers away from a severe thunderstorm, folks, take some video of the cloud tops. You may see some things that are extraordinarily weird, like pink jellyfish and maybe you'll find leprechauns up there. There we go. There's some serious strikes to the west of Tallahassee. In Apalachicola National Forest region, there's thunder rolling in, to say the least. I wouldn't want to be camping in that national forest at the moment. Camping in a thunderstorm is freaky, very freaky, freaky as hell. Am I allowed to say that? I guess I won't be censored for saying freaky as hell. Next, the water vapor scenario over the Pacific Ocean. It's Earth's largest body of water. It's where the America's weather largely comes from. Since the, wet, since the jet stream blows west to east, it's a wet stream, it's a jet stream. There it is. Huge band of dry, massive air here stretching well out into the Pacific, all the way to Georgia, pushing this system through. You can actually see this impulse here from this dry, massive air. 
And leave us a comment if you think the planet is flat and projected onto a spherical thing. It certainly looks like it's legit to me. I don't know. Maybe somebody's really good at using Photoshop. You know graphic artists charge like $150 per hour, right? Next, looking at the U.S. Doppler radar showing vertical motion in the air column. There is the full 50-state view for your viewing pleasure as some precipitation lingers around southern Alaska as it's wont to do, at least lately. We've got some moisture moving into Pennsylvania. Not my favorite. It's going to be a warm day, a warm, moist day. Leave us a comment if you're warm and moist. Next, the shortwave radiation map. Bunch of low clouds here over the eastern seaboard. See all those low clouds? This shows clouds and fog when it's too dark over half the country to use the visible satellite. Looks like a foggy, cloudy day over large portions of the central part of the country. Check it out. There's all these foggy areas here or low clouds. Could be both. Here's the water vapor map for the lower 48. And you can see this huge pressure gradient forming right in this area as that slowly gets pushed off to the east. It doesn't look like it's quite as coherent as it may have been. That's a good sign as it'll make the weather a little bit less severe. It doesn't really look that severe at the moment, folks. And that's a good thing because those areas have been getting hammered. So here's your recap. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully you're able to forecast your own weather. Maybe you've learned something about atmospheric physics. We certainly hope so. Thanks for tuning into the Smash News Network, least busted name in news. May that solar and terrestrial wind both be at your back.